Hello. Welcome to Wild Sun Art Studio. I am Robin Sun, and I am your lovely art hostess for a few, a little while here, a few minutes. We hope it's not terribly long because long videos can be, I don't know. I actually like long videos. Okay, there's my confection. Listening to wonderful people give me art ideas <laughs> is my idea of a very, very good time. So that's why I'm sharing all this fun stuff with you. Today we are talking about designing your own, our own, um, envelopes so that you can put any size card you want in a little envelope and make it fit wherever you need. Um, this size would actually be a good size for an artist trading card. Ta -da! So how do you design these lovely little things? Well, um, this actually should be part two and this should be part one. So this is when you open up an envelope. Well, especially if you're making a square, you're kind of looking at a square piece of paper with the, you know, some little corners cut out. So if you're making um, uh, something that will fit a rectangular um, piece, you're looking at something that is a, well, actually this is kind of a square too, because it needs to be long enough to get all the way to the middle. Yeah. So there you are. Well, once we have a design um, like here and here and like here on this yellow paper. So you can take your design. So we're working with just plain paper today. Um, you can take your design and trace it. I'm using black flare pen, but um, you might want to use pencil for you, but just so you can see it on the video. And on and on around. So you just trace it onto whatever paper you've got. Um, actually, a paperweight works a little bit better, in my opinion, than cardstock, but cardstock's completely doable. And then you can cut out as many as you want. I've been known to cut out four or five at the same time, which is kind of jaggedy for cutting, but you get a lot of envelopes in a big fat hurry. All right, so we're going to put this aside. We're going to put the cap on. Let's talk about how to actually design this so that it works. So we have here, this is um, for the United States, it's eight and a half by 11. For everybody else in the world, it's an A4. Um, but it doesn't really matter what size it is because we're designing it and we can design anything. So um, I folded it in half and then up in thirds. And this is actually the size that fits a standard regular envelope that you can find in the grocery store. Um, so that's not bad for that, but it's way more fun making your own and then you can have purple envelopes. So that's totally awesome. So what we're doing if we wanted to design like this, we would take up gobs of, actually, it wouldn't even fit there. There we are, it wouldn't even fit. So we're gonna do this on an angle. And we're gonna use, this is sort of the natural flap, top flap, so that works out well. It can be, um, you know, pretty close to the corners. We'll just cut out those corners. So we're gonna, Mm, I guesstimate a lot of things. You are totally welcome to um, use rulers and measure things. So we'll fold this down. Now that's going to be too big, but that's okay because I think I'd like to try a rounded uh, flap there. So I'm going to be reshaping that anyway. So that's right up next to the folds. We're going to pull that down a little because we want some ease in the envelope so that you're not working too hard just to get the piece of paper in. And then again, leaving some ease. So don't fold it quite tight. Um, and sharpen these corners, just, I mean, these uh, edges, 
just because it makes it easier to think. Um, and then I'm going to scoot the paper that way a little bit, and then I can fold it, keep things kind of straight. Now see, there's a lot of paper down here we're not going to be using, but just the, the folds we're getting here are going to tell us where to go. So I'm a bit of a distance down from the fold that's right here. Let's crisp that up so you can see it a little better. Um, and now I can fold up from the bottom. So I'm moving the paper. Um, sort of helps me remember to keep some space and ease in the envelope. So you can tell that if we folded the sides in and folded the bottom up, well, it'd be way too big up here, but that's sort of the general shape we're going for. So we wouldn't want this bottom piece to go any higher than about that on the envelope. So let's just cut that off right now. Yeah, that wasn't even a neat cut, but that's okay. So now the question is, if I had somehow magically folded this perfectly on a perfectly shaped piece of paper, um, all I would be doing now is cutting out these four corners, because that's extraneous paper and you don't want to have the bulk in an envelope. Um, but we can do a little design work here. If you watch how these side flaps fold in, first of all, they're only barely touching here, but it's really, it's come down low and it's also not centered. So there's a way to fit, there's an app for that. No, there's a fix for that. So what we're gonna do is we've got a nice sharp fold on either side. Now, this is why I do this most of the time with just plain paper. We're going to fold it down the middle. And if this were my ending paper, I wouldn't necessarily want a big fold down the middle. But if I use white paper, it's really hard to see on the um, video. So purple's maybe a little bit easier, I hope. So I'm matching edge to edge. And I'm also trying to match... Um, fold mark to fold mark, and guess what? It's not perfect. Oh well. Life isn't perfect. Okay, so this is all kind of wobbly. Plus, remember it was too long. It comes down too long. But the real question is, how far up can we get that? All right. So what I want to do... And I'm going to draw this this time because when I was practicing, I drew it badly. Uh, we want to cut sort of a curve, you know, here. But if I just try to cut that, it'll, it won't be completely symmetrical. And if I cut it together, it probably won't be completely symmetrical either, but it'll be way closer. So now that's on the inside, but I will remember. And I'm coming down to about here. So actually I'm gonna leave some flat stuff at the top, but then I'm gonna curve the edges. So let's see how that works. That's really pretty, except you can see that. So that's bad. Um, yeah, I have some space. I'm going to cut away those lines. See, this is why you don't cut with a flare pen on the actual item that you want to use. I think that will work. This is what I do every time I design. I go back and forth and back and forth trying to make things work. That will work when we put our paper inside and close the flap, you don't see any of the white paper. So we're doing great. 
we're on the right track. So, um, you know what? Let's cut out these corners just so we sort of clear up where we are. Now, if I was going to cut straight on the fold line, first of all, there'd be a little folded edge, um, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw again with flare pen, but just to show you how. This is where the fold lines are. And what I'm going to do is cut in a little bit and round that up. It's A, pretty. And also, what it does is it takes, it just makes sure that none of this paper that's here or here would, when you fold it up, kind of spill out over the edge. So if you just sort of round things off, that takes that away. Now this is on the inside of the envelope, so yay. It won't show. So I go all the way into the point and come back out. And then the clever cheaty way. It's not a cheat. It's a design tool. Is I'm going to copy these angles. doing there. Oops, I actually cut in the corner a little bit much there. Mm, interesting. All right, that's excess. So now if we fold in the flaps, I don't know, can you see they're pointing in different directions? So let's neaten that up. Let's go back to our center fold. We'll fold these out and they are very differently shaped. So let's fix that. All right, now they match better. All right, so we're getting there. Fold the side flaps in, fold the bottom up, and we're great. Here, if I put this in here, you can really see. So that's a nice view. I mean, it looks pretty. And we don't have a lot of leeway. See right there? I can't cut this in very much, but I can cut this short a bit. So let's say I can cut that off or cut it off to there. So let's fold it this way so I can see where I marked. Fold those flaps out. And let's give that just a nice gentle curve. I'm going to go over to the folds and then kind of arc out. Now I learned how to do this because I studied ripped open a regular commercially made um, envelope. And I noticed that, see right here, it comes sort of out and str almost straight again. Um, and I think that just helps keep letters where they're supposed to be now because I did design this myself and I did not use a ruler. The two sides actually are not even. But we're not going to see that all that much. So I don't really mind. But totally use a ruler if, if things being straight makes you happy. So let's glue this up. Oops. 
on the glue. So there we go. Now, if you have a, oops, don't want that. Say this is your journal page. And we, you can put this in your journal several different ways. You can build a pocket and put it in the pocket. You can put glue all over the back and glue it, you know, wherever you want it. You can also put a little bit of washi tape. And um, so half the tape is here and half the tape is on the journal page. And then you make sort of a swinging open pocket, which is great because you could put like another little envelope, a secret envelope behind the envelope. Yeah. Um, and I thought you might like to know that here, let's use some yellow cardstock. I like to put, there are lots of ways of fastening here. You could put little magnets in or little Velcros in if you wanted it. Um, you know what actually works is washi tape. You know, you take, this is not washi, this is masking tape, so it's too sticky. But washi tape is so gentle, um, the stick. So you fold the tape over a little bit, and then you can put that down, and you've got a little tab. And the other thing that I often do is just from the sweat in my palm, sorry if that's kind of gross, but um, it takes some of the stick away. And so when you put it down, you know, I would cut that and make it pretty. But then you can open it up without tearing if you take a little bit of the stick away. So you've got a little tab, then you can open it up. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's another way to close it. And then another way to close it let's do this is I cut a little <laughs> wow that sure isn't square having a hard time here when I practice cutting nice 90 degree ankles and I and I'm doing that a lot and I'm really it trains my eye and I get better at it. Anyway, you can put this here. So I'm going to put a little bit line of glue right there, but I won't put glue on the top, just on the bottom. And when that dries, that will make a little tuck closure. See, like that. Ta -da. And it's not really holding because it's still wet and it's not sturdy. Anyway, it's a nice little envelope. So we have, and you can do this in the same way with any paper. You can take the card you've got. Let's use a better color. You can take the card you've got and, um, you know, fold down and up and and make an envelope out of anything. You can make an envelope out of um, the phone book, out of a newspaper, out of Christmas wrap that's left over, out of just about anything. So there we are, ta-da! Sweet little envelope. And then, um, like I showed you before, once you have once you have your pattern, then keep your pattern separate. And I very often will write um, first, or, you know, this is my pattern or whatever on your, um, so you know not to use this. And this is the one that's gonna have folds in it and kind of be raggedy. So, um, yeah, and then you can copy it out as many times as you want and have lots and lots of envelopes, which is way fun. Okay, 
So we're done with that. Now I want to tell you about a special, those are for later, um, a special kind of envelope, which is made a little bit differently. Like what if you have a wonky piece of a little card or a little letter or it's got something and it's not a regular rectangular it works the same way you can still let's go back to our red paper you know just fold it in the only thing you have to remember is the narrow part is the bottom of the envelope duh because if you tried to pull this out this would be too wide and it wouldn't come out so you have to do it that way and I'm only telling you this because I did it wrong once and that was ridiculous. So it's the same thing. You just fold in the top and the two sides and up and then you kind of shimmy it and cut out the corners, you know, there until you're done and cool. So the thing that's great about doing this is if you've got a lot of stuff you want to put in your envelope you can just give the envelope a little bit more ease and it'll more than accommodate everything you've got um this is what do they call it acrylic and oil paint you can buy this in a pad they're you know like a little bit bigger than this um but it's really hefty paper so i was doing some yay painting are these pretty isn't that cool? So, um, and if I want to fold that over and make a little gift card, then that's, a, that's actually a fair amount of bulk. But again, just like this, you can make your envelope the exact size you need it to be to easily get your cards in or out. And you can make tall ones and long ones you know this is like bigger than a short envelope but smaller than a long envelope so what do you do well you make your own of course but i wanted to talk a little bit um in this last little bit about making a very tall and in my deserted island journal i had some Remember, I was making um, trifolds, these little sort of mini journals of trifolds, and I was putting pockets in all kinds of fun places. So you can put them inside, and you could use washi tape and then open it up. Ta da! So, yeah, so um, I made some really skinny, tall envelopes that were about this tall and only about that wide. So how do you do that? I mean, how do you fit that space properly? Unless you can make your own envelope. So cool beans, let's do that. So this is even easier maybe than going at an angle because basically we're gonna fold in from one side. Again, leaving a little bit of, you know, ease, space. I'm going to just pull the card out and let that be my measurement. Now this is machine cut paper, of course, so that if I line up my folds here, this is probably in 90 degree angle like it's supposed to be. So I'm going to pull the card down here a bit. We're going to fold up the bottom. And this is a lot of paper to be folding, so this is a very wonky fold. And then that leaves um, the top flap lots of room to come down. And the reason that that is important is that in order to get pull the card out through the top, if the top comes straight across, you're going to have to sort of fumble around to find it. But if you cut the sides down then that gives you that little triangle of space to be your little thumb place to pull it out but if we cut 
the center down, we're going to need a nice long, oops, a nice long top flap to make sure that we cover that little V we made, right? Okay. So for the most part, and I can even do that right here because um, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the shape of all these flaps. At least this part. So again, I'm cutting just a little bit away from the fold to make sure that when I'm folding everything up, we've got lots of space. And now, what I would like to do for this top fold is, you know, sort of do a gentle curve, but because it's at the top and I'm gonna see it all the time, I need that to be very similar curves. So what I'm gonna do, oh yeah, and we're cutting down. So I'm gonna start maybe down here. And if I start here, that's less than the length of the flap down, so it'll totally cover it. So I'm going to cut up here to the corner. And then I'm going to angle in a little bit. And come on round the corner. Now, I would very much like this side to look like this side. So, this is that trick. Um, we'll just line everything up and I'll use my flare so you can see what I'm doing here. And then down to the center. Now this is mostly going to be on the inside, so even if I don't cut it all off, we're not going to see that so much. And we cut to the corner. And then down to the middle. And let those papers go. We'll put our little card. I'll save that to the end. Make it dramatic. So we fold that in and fold that in and there's a nice overlap so I can glue. And if I mark that with my fingernail, I know where to glue. I can see that. Um, even if you, I mean, you'll be able to see that when you do it. And I don't want to go up too far because I don't know what that overlap is at the top. I forgot to measure that. Mm, I'm glad I didn't do that. Because I smudged it at the bottom, but that's going to get glued anyway. Now, I can't glue right up next to the fold because there isn't any paper there, and then I'd glue into the pocket. So I have to bump around that a bit. That's okay because we really need that. Um, we just need it affixed. Zoom. And now there's our card and it goes in and there's plenty of room, thumb space to pull that back out again. And then we have a nice comfortable, safe flap so that that won't go anywhere. And I need a little pretty piece of color. So what if, what if, what if? Let's take, do we want to use yellow, orange, green? What happens if I use this green? Oh, that's kind of interesting. I've got a little 
little green. I'm going to do it vertically. So I think I'll leave that straight. So there, it's a little thumb. So we'll put a little glue right at the bottom, which makes, and just make sure I'm putting the glued part sufficiently away from the actual flap. I'm going to fringe this, but I want to sort of keep an eye on symmetry. So, how close can I get here? So you can really see. So those all go into the circle the same amount. But these two little ones in between, I'm going to pull out a little so we don't get a lot of cuts really close together. It'll, I'm afraid it will fall apart. So I just eyeball halfway between and then halfway between those two cuts and then do a short and a short, halfway between and a short and a short, halfway between those two cuts, and a short, and a short, halfway between, and a short, and a short. Now, gluing this down now, it's not going to have a lot of dimension. Um, you might not get that I fringed those edges, but after this pocket's been in a journal for a while, and been used, it'll, it'll, some of the little fringes will start to poke up and then you'll go, oh, that's a thing. That's got dimension. It's a little sunflower. <laughs> so there we go. And here, so now we have these juicy pockets and they fit, I mean envelopes, and they fit our every need and life is ducky. May your life be ducky today and every day. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.